Riders, what a special day. I'm super excited. I'm in Austria and I am testing the brand new Rottweil RX1000 with the new Pinion E112 motor and gearbox combined. Why am I excited? Because obviously this is brand new tech and it did steal the show at Eurobike. Pretty much every media outlet were talking about it. So I'm here in Austria and I've got three to four days to test this beast and the new system. Massive shout out to Rottweil because we are in such a beautiful place. And I've got questions and I'm sure you riders do too. So put them down in the comments really quickly because I will be doing my conclusion review in like four days. So get them in fast and I'll definitely answer them. So my questions are, how does it change? How much power does it have? How does it compare to a Bosch, a Bros, a Yamaha, a Sync Drive, all the other competitors on the market? How much range does it have? How smoothly does it change? How does it compare to a traditional derailleur? And loads more questions, so I'm gonna be a very busy boy. But let's have a look at the bike and the system and what we're testing. So what is it? So it's a trail bike rolling on mullet wheels. We've got 150 at the front and 150 at the rear. And obviously it has a 1000 watt hour battery. At the moment, I believe I've got the 720 in, but tomorrow when I do my range test, I will be putting the thousand in. We've also got a 66 degree head tube angle, a 74 degree seat tube angle, a nice shortest chain stay of 445 millimeters with a mullet, so it would be quite snappy, fun. And a reach in a large, I believe is 468 millimeters. So very much a trail bike. But the big question mark, and probably why you're all here, is the new Pinion 12-speed gearbox and motor combined. So what is it? So we've got 12 gears combined. We've got auto shifting, free shifting. It has around 85 newton meters of power and 600 watts of peak power. And it's coming in at 4.1 kilos. And you riders might think that's a little bit heavy when you compare it to a Shimano EP8 2.6, Yamaha 2.7, and a Brose 2.9. But the whole bike with the 1000 watt hour battery is coming in at 24.6 kilos. And a SRAM GX with the cassette, with the derailleur, with the changer, and the chain is coming in at two kilos. So if you keep that all in mind, it is quite comparable. And the interesting thing for me is all the weight is off the back wheel. So the suspension is gonna work better and I can't wait to try that. Now, let's have a look at the rest of the build. So the RX1000, we're coming with 36s up front, X2, we've got Magura MT5 brakes, Schwabe tires, and a big shout out to Schwabe, amazing sponsor of the channel. So this is a pretty killer build, full carbon frame, as I said, 24.6 kilos. So the RX1000 will be available in two models and four sizes and starting from 10,000 euros up to 12,000 euros. And it will be available later in the year, around November, December, around then. And riders, so make sure you put in those questions very quickly, because I need to go off and ride now. It's gonna start to rain very soon. I need to get out on this bike. And riders, remember, subscribe to the channel, because next week, well, in about four or five days, my review, my fully in-depth review is gonna be out. So we'll see you then.